Hello and welcome to my world. I'm of course Fred Kazd and as you know seven nights a week I stream live over on Twitch playing a variety of video games. The link to my Twitch channel can be found in the description below. Of course as of late we have been doing some fitness boxing streams in the morning. Fitness boxing is a rhythmic boxing game available on the Nintendo Switch. And I think it came out the first year of the of the Switch release, or maybe the second year. I'm, I'm not, I didn't bother to look up the release dates. But when I got my Switch earlier this year, here in 2020, I was looking for different things to... Uh, different types of games and stuff to get forward. And, uh, and I was looking more for a couple of fitness-related uh, things. Because, you know, at least since the... Uh, Going back to the NES days, there's always been some sort of physical peripheral associated with Nintendo consoles. Uh, or at least it seems that way. So, Fitness Boxing got my attention. I got some boxing grips for it. And since early July, I've been doing it every morning. And I've lost um, a fair amount of weight. Of about, 20, about 20 pounds uh, since, since uh, early July. Certainly doesn't show as with me sitting down, but it, it it has, and we have been streaming a lot of the morning sessions, um, and typically they end up being about an hour. But the reason why we're talking about fitness boxing is that Nintendo actually with their Nintendo Direct this week, and I have to credit my buddy Dax for bringing this to my attention, announced that there is going to be a Fitness Boxing 2 coming out in early December, uh, subtitled uh, Rhythm and Exercise. And I'm looking at the press release now, and we're just going to break it down. And my reaction, since, since I'm someone who is doing Fitness Boxing every morning now, uh, kind of makes me wonder. Uh, work out at, at home and punch to the beat. True, headline, that's a true headline. Jab, up, come, dodge, and more to catchy pop tunes and rhythmic uh, bo uh, in this rhythmic boxing game. Pass a Joy-Con controller to an exercise buddy and box to the beat together. I do have questions on how that's going to work because if you, as you can tell, I have Joy-Con. I have both. I am holding both Joy-Cons. I, I have boxing grip uh, attachments for them. Uh, so I'm not sure how the hell will is that going to work in terms of. If you're handing, or do you need to get a second set of Joy Cons for someone else to join in, or is it, is it, or is it going to be like uh, Just Dance, where it's really tracking one general movement, or is this going, or will, ha or is the software in Fitness Boxing Two going to be so good that it, it can track the movements just with one Joy Con? How the hell is that going to work? Uh, customize your workout with the help of a virtual instructor. Um, in terms of customization in the original uh, fitness boxing, uh, there is uh, cardio only, uh, strength and cardio, and maintenance, and different time lengths of uh, 15, 25, 35, and 45 minutes. And that's about as much customization as we get. In the, in the currently so I'm not sure where it's going to expand on that Are there going to be more time limits and stuff like that we'll be able to drop certain routines or focus on more routines uh, or set like uh, lengths uh, like again how I, I, I definitely will have questions on that uh, choose from excuse me Choose from nine virtual instructors, select a challenge level from light to heavy, and have a workout prepared for you by your trainer or create one all by yourself from scratch and free training. Uh, check out detailed examples, practice specific moves, and we re receive helpful feedback from your instructor to get the most out of your workout. That pretty much sounds like the same, except a challenge level from light to heavy. So, is are they phrasing light to heavy as being a difference from maintenance, cardio, and strength in cardio? Is that what they mean there? And in terms of 
routines and everything, I basically use a set that I don't I don't use free training in the original fitness boxing. So uh, this so that kind of has me curious. Warm up with the original fitness uh, boxing game, but then transfer your profile to fitness boxing to rhythm and excellent with sides. That's good uh, because if I get the sequel, uh, if I get it the day it comes out or something, or rather pre-order and so forth, I definitely would want uh, my data to carry over instead of starting over from uh, from scratch. I mean, at this point, I got like 74 days consecutive on it. 74, 75 days, give or take. Uh, keep your progress from the original fitness boxing game um, and game, and then transfer your profile. Okay, that's basically, they they, they actually just basically say the same thing. Uh, get your daily workout on and box and bop to the beat. Pass the joy kind of over to, to a workout partner to enjoy a two-player boxing session led by your in-game instructor. These virtual trainers have different personalities and styles, so try them out and find one that suits your best. So they are actually having some encouragement there in terms of using more than one of the trainer because I've only used a default trainer so are these going to be more programmed so would the trainers in fitness boxing 2 are they going to be programmed for different routines different setups and again it raises again it raises questions uh complete achievements to receive tickets shit that you can redeem for outfits to deck out your trainer in fitness fashion that's kind of how it works in the original, except when you hit when you hit certain goals, things just unlock. So is it going? So that, that again, that's again, that's raising questions for me. Whatever difficulty you play on, you can revisit specific exercises for practice or watch detailed examples uh, to observe perfect form. Well, as you can basically tell with me, perfect form is not something I <laughs> I strive for. It's more of just being active and and trying to hit my marks and everything. Mainly, I do have I do feel like I have some limited movement in my shoulders and trying to throw hooks and stuff. And and I do there are, even after two and a half months, there are, there are still some movements that I feel very uncomfortable doing. Stepping to Stepping to the left or right and throwing an uppercut, for example, this feels very, very awkward. Um, particularly if I'm, uh, I'm, and I'm, I'm in throwing an uppercut with the uh, with the forward hand uh, as opposed. Uh, fitness boxing too with a rhythm and exercise is a way to get a guy to work out, track your activity, and listen to some popular upbeat music. Again, fairly true. The real question is, is what, how many songs or instrumentals are going to be included? They're, they're going to be instrumentals outright. Because it's not going to be like uh, Just Dance. Because you actually need to hear the trainer and not the lyrics of the uh, songs. So the question is, what music is going to be included in it how many tracks because the first the first fitness boxing only has about like 20 songs uh off the top of my head they are uh uh party rock anthem born this way bad romance move like jagger uh there's a song by aqua i forget the name of video kill the radio star Uh, 21st Century Boy, and those are the ones, oh, I think Baby from Justin Bieber is also included, Um, and those are just off the top of my head, so again, will these be carrying over, will be, would there be new songs included, or so it's like a combination of the two, Um, it, and the big question is, is the sequel going to be a... Is it going to be download only? Uh, we, so it, 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 I have, 
I have questions. Uh, clearly. So still, I I am excited for it, and it will be interesting to see how the heck the uh, two-player variant works. Not that I actually would have room in my stream space for it, because in that in, in the clip you're seeing, that area is actually just to the left here of where I'm sitting. As like so, you can see you see the green screen and everything, and so not exactly a lot of room. So not like I would have a, like a, somebody working out with the uh, with me on stream, but it uh, again raises questions and everything. Anyway, I definitely will get fitness boxing too when it comes out because if if it's going to be a little bit more challenging and so forth, or or if it has better tracking in terms of the Joy Cons, which it 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 has to it has to have better tracking because if they're saying you're you can hand one Joy-Con off to another person and you can both do it at the same time that tracking has to be significantly better to track any and all movements so it, it, it has me curious anyway on that note uh, thank you very much for listening to me ramble and as we break down the press release for Fitness Boxing 2 um this upcoming uh, line, week's lineup over on my Twitch channel includes uh, Sunday Night Twitch Sings, Monday Night, uh, excuse me, Sunday Night Overwatch, Monday and Tuesday nights are dedicated to Marvel's Avengers. Wednesday, we are going to be finishing up Gears of War 2. Thursdays are for Star Trek Online. And if I didn't finish it um, on the 18th, uh, we should be finishing up the WWE 2K Story Mode on the upcoming Friday. Uh, again, that's WWE 2K20's uh, story mode with Hot Head Red and Trey. If all goes right, that will be, uh, again, finishing that up next week as well. Uh, so at least that's the agenda. So till next time, my friends, and you are my friends. Tighten your friendship bracelet. Stay safe. Have a great day, and we'll see. talk to you next time. Bye.